Hi, my name is Erin Easier. I'm the founder of Earthly Remedies by Erin. We use all of the chicken manure from these guys and it goes into our gardens. We um, buy organic grain from the Likers and that's what they eat and then all of our scraps and our grass and stuff like that. And so it's kind of, it's a whole system. Some of the products that you can find at the Green Earth in Oneana are herbal tinctures such as Immune Booster, um, lavender bags, peppermint bags, and you can find hand salves, lip balms, some other herbal tinctures as well, some arnica, muscle rubs, and stuff like that. I grow a huge amount of my own herbs. There are some that I do not grow, but I do a lot of calendula, echinacea, comfrey, chamomile. Um, it all comes in. I'm the one who dries it. I'm the one who either tinctures it or puts it in oil or however it needs to get processed in order to put it into the products. Um, so then that raw ingredient then goes into um, any number of stuff, your hand salves, tinctures, whatever it be that I'm making, and so then you have your final outcome and your final product. But it all came from something that I grew, that I started. And these will be going to the greener Pinoniata today, along with peppermint bags and lavender bags. I like to know what goes into my body. I like to know what I'm eating what my cells are being nourished with, whether it be from the outside or the inside. I like to know if it was sprayed, if it wasn't sprayed. Um, you know, I have a hard time even with so-called organic gardening and people who garden and don't spray and the farmers and stuff like that because there's always gonna be cross-contamination. So I like to know that I'm doing it to the best of my ability and that I haven't sprayed it with anything. Because even in a typical organic gardening, you can still use certain sprays and certain chemicals and stuff like that. And so everything that I do is I spray nothing, we put nothing on it, I use everything. Um, as natural as possible. So they all get shoved in here. My family sometimes doesn't like it because getting into here is a little bit difficult, but it's the best place for them to be. And then they get strained, and then I'll put them in different places after they get strained. But this is the initial one. Like this is the digestive ease. It's got hops and licorice and wild yam in it. And this one I had just started. This is a pain reliever. This has got cat's claw and doubles root in it. And you can see it's all red, if you can see it or not. Earthly Remedies is a big believer that our skin is our largest organ, so what we put on it really impacts everything uh, right down to just your your mood, whether or not you're going to end up with skin cancers and stuff like that. I mean, I'm a big, a big believer in the toxins that we put on the body are going to end up relating to some kind of disease or something like that. And so by using natural products and using products like Earthly Remedies, I think that um, you're doing you're doing justice to your body. You're you know you're helping your body. You're doing justice to the planet, to the earth, because you're using a product that's more natural versus something that was manufactured in a in a processing plant or something like that. And so I think to use products on your body that you can pronounce the ingredients of and ones that you can understand what the benefits are, I think you're um, gonna gonna just do yourself a lot of benefits. So that's why I highly recommend using Earthly Remedies products for that reason. For all of our food scraps, go our to them. They eat very well. They love this green bucket. They know exactly what it is and what's in it. My biggest reason why I like doing what I'm doing is that with me being diagnosed and having MS and the health issues that I've been through and the ups and down cycles, I'd like my kids to never have to go through what I go through. And so I find it very important to feed them well, to make sure that they're getting what they need and to not be exposed to the chemicals and the toxins in hopes that I can change their so-called health path down the road so they don't have to endure what I've had to endure. Everything down low, like in the boxes, like this is all my stuff. These are all the herbs I've grown. I have a very, very poor organization system for them, unfortunately. And where 
where do I hope to end up? I like where I am right now. I do a lot of wholesale business and I like being in small stores and I like being really local and I like supporting local and the fact that local supports me. Uh, I'd like to continue to kind of stay in this cycle. I don't want to grow and be huge. That's not what my intention ever was. I, um, I'd like to just be able to help people and to continue to um, be somebody that you know local people can come to if they need help or they have questions or they have different ailments or stuff like that. I believe in what I do. I believe in the power of herbs. I believe in the power of essential oils and that they can heal us and I hope that more people will see that um, that herbs have the the potential to just to, to help them.